Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Bangkok Chili Peppers TV. I am Moda and today I will show you Berches Garden in the Bavarian Alps, Germany. Let's go! In this episode I will show you 11 of the best things to see in 3 days in Berches Garden, a beautiful German town in between the Alps, more than 900 years old. I will reach the Eagle's Nest, one of the secret headquarters of Adolf Hitler, the Führer. Drive over the Rosfeld Panoramic Street and visit the amazing Berches Garden National Park. So be ready and let's go! Let's start with the Schlossplatz. Schlossplatz in German means Castle Square. This pink building is the Berches Garden Castle, a representation of Romanesque, Gothic, Baroque and Rococo styles. It became the summer residence of the Bavarian royal family in 1810. The castle was originated from the Stiftkirche. In the 12th century, the Countess Irmgrad from Sulzbach took a vow to found a monastery in gratitude for saving her husband after a hunting accident. Then her son Berengar built it, the Stiftkirche. In the Schlossplatz there is an arcade with an interesting mural illustrating the tragedy of the world wars. T-square is open to the cars and the noise is very disturbing. Close to the city hall is located the parish church of St. Andreas that dates 1358, built in Romanesque and Baroque style. I am now in the market square with its 17th century fountain. Here you can see on the Hirschenhaus wall a fresco the Countess Irmgard from Sulzbach and her son Berengar. Market square is a nice place for some shopping or to just stop and drink a coffee enjoying the view of the old buildings. The atmosphere here is so nice, people enjoy to take a beer in what's so called beer garden. I continue to walk to reach the Franciscan monastery that dates from the 1400s. The bell tower was built by Lorenzo Sciasca, born in Roveredo, Switzerland. He was a master builder and architect of the Baroque period. The view of the Watzmann mountain from Besches Garden is amazing. This mountain is 2713 meters high and its shape will definitely impress everybody. It's time to eat something. The restaurant and brewery of Brauhaus Besches Garden exists since 1645. If you like the beer, you should come here. It has, in my opinion, some of the best beer I tried in Germany. This place is famous for the Heisbock beer, 11.6% alcohol, almost 19 euro for half a liter. I tried it, but it's not my kind of beer, too strong. I suggest you to try all kind of homemade beers, they are all excellent. Ah, very good. This goulash looks so lovely, I cannot wait to try it. Mm, super! The food and beer was very good. I will go to sleep now. See you tomorrow. Bye! A new day just started. It's so nice to wake up with this view of the Watzmann mountain. If you want to climb it, the best period is June through September. The economy of this region was based on salt for centuries. Visit the salt mine to discover more. It started operating in 1517. The best viewpoint is on the Lockstein, but you need to walk a little bit to reach this point. This place is located on the way to the Sole Leitungsberg that I will show you later. On the way to the viewpoint you will find the Kirschleiten Kapelle, famous photography spot. After an easy walk of around 15 minutes from the Schlossplatz I reached the panoramic terrace. Finally I reached the top and the view here is absolutely amazing. And now let's move forward. I returned back a little bit to start the Sole Leitungsweg. This is a popular panoramic hiking trail of around 10 km above the village of Ramsau. Mm. Good! The Sole Leitungsweg is a section of the overall 29 km pipeline from the Besches Garden salt mine via Ramsau to the salt works in Reichenau. The brine pipeline was finished in 1810 and was in operation for a total of 144 years. It was shut down in 1927. I will not do the full hike experience due to limited available time. 
Now I need to reach the next point, the Eagle's Nest, one of the Adolf Hitler, the Führer headquarters. With around 10 minutes drive from the village, it's possible to reach the Eagle Nest parking place. You need to park your car and then proceed with the bus. The road to the Eagle's Nest is accessible only via bus. The ticket will cost you 28 euro. The bus will drive you through a 6.5 km scenic road with a max gradient of 22%. You need then to work in a tunnel of 124 meters and take an elevator that will bring you at the top. This place is closed during winter. Pay attention to the time schedule. Last trip was at 4 and return at 4.50. Wow, the view from here is really amazing. The Eagle's Nest is located on top of Mount Kelstein, 1834 meters high, and was one of the Adolf Hitler's headquarters throughout occupied Europe. It rises above Ober Salzburg, near the southeast German town of Berchtesgaden. This secret hideaway survived to the Allies' bombing raids. The Eagle's Nest was commissioned by Martin Bormann in the summer of 1937. Paid for by the Nazi party, it was completed in 13 months. Hitler's birthday in April 1939 was considered a deadline for the project's completion. Twelve workers died during its construction. It was used exclusively by members of the Nazi party for government and social meeting and was visited on 14 documented distances by Adolf Hitler. The Führer lived further down in his alpine mansion, the Berghof, on the Obersalzberg above Berchtesgaden. His wife Eva Braun spent far more time here entertaining her friends and family. Today the Eagle's Nest is open seasonally as a restaurant, beer garden and tourist site. This is really an amazing place and now it's time to go back. Near the Eagle's Nest there is the Rosfeld Panoramic Street. This is a panoramic street and you need to stop to buy the ticket. The entrance costs 8.5 euros. There are several points where you can stop your car and enjoy the amazing view. Rosfeld is Germany's highest panoramic road. It's located near to the Austrian border and offers visitors a unique view of the Berchtesgaden Alp, Salzburg and the Salzach Valley. The route is 15.4 km with a max gradient of 13% and is also a part on the Austrian territory. This tall road was built between 1937 and 1940 and climbs from an altitude of 850 meters in Oberau and 750 meters in Ober Salzburg to 1570 meters at the crest. This place is great for hiking, there are hiking trails for every level of fitness. Rosfeld Panorama Strasse is open all year round. My second day is over, I will go back to Berchtesgaden and drink some good beer. Good morning guys, today I will show you a beautiful lake located in the Berchtesgaden National Park. I'm talking about the Königssee. Let's go! In around 10 minutes drive from the village it's possible to reach one of the several National Park available parkings. This place is very popular for camping. To explore the Berchtesgaden National Park you can hike if you have time or just take the Jennerbahn cable car. In just 20 minutes it takes visitors to the top of Jenner Mountain at 1874 meters. From your cabin you will see several people hiking, it can take up to 4 hours just to go on top. There is a panoramic restaurant near the peak. From here take a short walk for a breathtaking view over the Lake Königssee. Wow, the view from here is incredible! Founded in 1978, this is Germany's only alpine national park. People can explore this unspoiled natural reserve on well-marked hiking trails. This park offers varied landscapes and wildlife. Königssee means King's Lake. It's 8 km wide and almost 100 meters deep. Eco-friendly electric boats cruise across the lake and I will take one of them now. I will go down with the cable car, the round trip costed me 27.5 euro during summer. In winter this destination is popular for skiing and you can buy a ski pass. I am now at the Boat Spear. You can choose to cruise just until San Bartolomeu Church or until Salet. My advice is definitely the second option. Pay attention at the time schedule and don't do like me. 
plenty screws in the early morning to have enough time. The round trip costed me 23 euros. The landscape here is stunning. The first stop is the San Bartolomeo Church. Located on the Irsha Peninsula, this Catholic church takes its name from San Bartolomeo the Apostle, patron of Alpine farmers and dairymen. The palace and pilgrimage church were founded by the Prince Provost of Berchtesgaden in 1134. The triple concha design of the church dates back to 1697. After Berchtesgaden became part of Bavaria in 1810, the palace became a hunting lodge for the Bavarian kings and was one of their favorite hunts. Since the Romantic period, this church has been a source of inspiration for numerous landscape painters. You can stop in this stunning place and relax, I can have something to eat. The next stop is Salet, in my view the most beautiful. I just reached the Salet Pier. This place is absolutely amazing. With 15 minutes walk from Salet, it's possible to reach the Obersee. Definitely something to not miss. This little house in front of the Obersee is a famous Instagram spot. This lake was originally connected to the Königsee, now they are one kilometer far. Due to its location and since there are no boats on the lake, the water surface is usually complete calm and the reflections in the Obersee are very clear. From the Obersee, if you have time, you can hike for about one hour and a half to reach the Rothbach waterfalls, but this is not my case. Unfortunately, I reached this place late and I had to catch the last boat. So guys, if you want to have just an idea of the main attractions around Bechest Garden, I suggest you to spend at least two full days. Unfortunately, this episode is over. I hope that you enjoyed. See you soon. Bye.